unearthed a new artist in residency program brings a centuries old French tradition to the Bay Area to provide artists a space to create new works. It's called Villa San Francisco. And here to tell us all about it is San Francisco cultural attache Sabine de Motion, an artist in residence choreographer Sarah Crowell. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. First, Sabine, can you delve into Villa San Francisco for us? On paper, it's an artist and residency program, but it's providing that and a whole lot more. Yes, of course. Uh, so the Villa San Francisco has been launched like uh, two years ago. Uh, first, it is an art residency. What does it mean? It's a space like an apartment where artists from all over the world can come and create uh, in all kinds of disciplines. So uh, the Villa San Francisco is the only art residency that belongs to the French cultural centers here in the United States, which makes it very special. And it's part of a network of art residency, uh, namely the Villa Medici and Kyoto in Japan. So first French art residency in the United States and located in San Francisco. And what kind of exposure has this provided so far? And why the Bay Area for this project? So I would say that uh, San Francisco is very special uh, for us, uh, for the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, because it stays at the intersection between uh, art uh, with uh, great institutions like the San Francisco MoMA, the public library, and as well, we, there, is, there are uh, absolutely amazing university, uh, Stanford and uh, Berkeley. Uh, as well, it's, it's a very active uh, uh, environment for enterprises. So there's a lot of artists and creative that are interested to come here and to work at the inter intersections of those cross, uh, cross paths. And so very naturally, San Francisco has been mapped as one destination for an art residency. Mm -hmm. Today, it's full lights on the Villa San Francisco uh, because it has been the model for the whole uh, reframing of the French cultural centers here in the United States. And after the Villa San Francisco launch, one year after, a whole network of art residencies have been launched in the United States called the Villa Albertine. So we are part of a huge network today and we have been the first one. So I would say that that's, I mean, great to feel that we're the first and it's absolutely fabulous to have Sarah Crowell as one of our first artists in residency here. Yeah, and the program uses art to, to link Oakland, California to San Denis, France. Sarah, how would you say they resonate together? Well, actually, um, the, the project that I've been working on here at the Villa started with a project called Spaces Oakland, and it partners Oakland with Saint Denis, which is a city similar to Oakland. Um, it's a suburb of Paris. Um, I know Oakland would not appreciate being called a suburb of San Francisco, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we, we did this project where we took over City Hall. We, we brought... Um, a couple dozen storytellers, just regular folks who um, told different stories about what, what it was like to live in Oakland, um, from uh, the wife of Huey P. Newton to Pops, who's a longshoreman, and everywhere in between, uh, an eight-year-old who had an experience with um, a fire in his home. So just different stories. And then dancers interpreted those stories and helped people travel through the Oakland City Hall um, to, to hear the different stories. And so it embodied the stories, it connected the people, and it, it took over a public space in a really powerful way. And so that that piece um, happened also in Saint Denis. And it originated with um, a man named Simon Hanukai, who runs as an artistic director at Chimera Productions. And we worked here in, in Oakland for many years at an art center in Oakland. And then he moved to Paris and started Chimera Productions. And so he was like, let's, the San Denis and Oakland are so similar. Let's have them connect through the art. So um, we're doing this project now at the Villa, Villa San Francisco, where, which is called Our Story. And it's an offshoot of the spaces programs that are happening in four different cities all over the world. And so four storytellers from each city here um, in Oakland, um, in San Denis, in France, in Bangalore and in India and in Istanbul and Turkey all have four storytellers. And at the end, we'll have 16 stories 
that are on video that are filmed with a dancer interpreting those stories. So it's kind of like, and you asked about Saint Denis in Oakland. We're I feel like we're sister cities. And when Saint Denis did their spaces program in a big public space in Saint Denis and took over that space with storytellers and dancers, as we did here in Oakland, um, we felt we we used each other's movement. So because because of COVID, we haven't been able to visit each other physically, but we sent each other movement and then added choreography to our pieces so that we be connected through our bodies. And Sabine, this is also pretty exciting. Tell us about the in the Banlieu project. Yeah, so In the Banlieue project is a co-production uh, between the Villa San Francisco and um, California Humanities. We have as well an associate producer in France, Les Jeunes Urbaines. So the program started, uh, it's the third year of the program. It started two years ago. Uh, first, it started with learning expeditions between Auckland and Saint-Denis, involving uh, some citizens, uh, artists, uh, politics makers, uh, activists, uh, that went to the two cities and uh, tried to learn how it was working and how Political, cultural policies have been shaping uh, the two cities so far. So the result of this program has been a publication, Auckland Saint-Denis, and as well a documentary uh, that is available on the website of the Villa San Francisco and Auckland Saint-Denis. What do you dedicate your residency to and what's next? I think that's such a great question. And I think I dedicate my stories to all these stories that are being told um, to the next generation, to the next generation of dreamers, of storytellers, of, of, of young people now and, and forward through time who are creating realities for their cities, for their communities, for their, for their families, the re -envisioning, that, that are re-envisioning what the world could be without racism, without sexism, without without poverty, without war, what would it be like? What would it be like to, to actually tell a story to someone who's so different from you and really hear that? So I dedicate it to the future. Wow, and just one of the other things I love about this project is the focus on amplifying underrepresented voices. Why is that mission so critical right now? I think it's critical that all voices are heard, that are, that are felt, that are, that are understood. Right. And I think that word underrepresented is really important. Who's in the center and whoever's in the center and it, it tends to be in a racist society, it tends to be white men that get their stories told. But all stories are important for all people to understand. And so if we center different voices and tell different stories, then we shift a narrative about what's important and who's important. <laughs> So next phase is the result of this residency. No pressure, Sarah. <laughs> Coming up very soon. So there will be some, yeah, some video uh, portraits around uh, the project spaces. Uh, we have two other cross residency to happen. Everything is dual between Auckland and Saint-Denis. Uh, artists from street arts and other dancers and choreographer from Auckland to Saint-Denis and Saint-Denis to Auckland. We have some conversations on uh, between uh, Saint-Denis and Auckland on uh, suburbs, their, relation, their relationships to, to uh, big cities. And once again, how do uh, cultural policies uh, shape them and as well two huge exhibitions uh, that are um, that are starting in next July one in Spur in Auckland and in San Francisco and the other one at the Pavillon de l'Arsenal in Paris so a lot to come and I would say that one of the focus would be uh, the visit of the mayor of Saint-Denis in Auckland the first week of March so lots to say lots of work <laughs> in the process and wonderful projects and we can't wait to see all of those visions come to life. Thank you both for being here today. We appreciate all of this. And for more information about Villa San Francisco, the artist residencies and upcoming performances, visit villasanfrancisco.org.